Howdy guys, Jimmy Song here. In this video, I'm gonna talk about chain analysis. How does that work? How do they figure out who spent what coin and uh, you know how much privacy are you actually losing by um, you know spending certain coins together? Well, the idea behind chain analysis is that when you spend two different UTXOs together, you can sort of associate them. Well, what are UTXOs? UTXOs are unspent transaction output. So in Bitcoin, what you don't actually have, um, you know, uh, an account balance like you would at a bank. Um, that's how Ethereum works. It, with Bitcoin, what you have are individual transaction outputs. So checks that people have sent to you, and you redeem them as part of a new transaction spend. Um, so sometimes when you're spending a particularly large amount of Bitcoin, you have to gather like lots of smaller checks and gather them into a single transaction and spend them together. Now, when you do that, you are associating all of those addresses to, uh, to the same person because presumably when you spend them together, it's obvious that all of them are from the same person or that's the assumption that a lot of chain analysis uh, kind of make uh, th that's the assumption that they make is that if you spend uh, you know from address A and from address B in the same transaction that they are owned by the same person and utilizing that you can sort of uh, figure out oh, okay this this payment came from this transaction and that payment came from that transaction and go all the way back and link them together in a nice graph and then figure out okay well this person probably owns these and we know that uh, the, this address is actually comes from Mount, uh, you know, Mount Gox or some other exchange in the past, and you can go look up that and figure out which person it was, and that that can compromise your privacy because obviously if they can link one of your transactions to a darknet transaction or something like that, then you could be in trouble, right? Like uh, they might be prosecuting you in certain jurisdictions and so on. So that's what chain analysis is. And this is why we call Bitcoin pseudonymous and not anonymous, because in many ways, um, you know, it's, it's not very private because all of it is on the blockchain. Now, there are ways to defeat this. And uh, one, one of the principal ways is using something called a coin join. And a coin join breaks that assumption. Basically, if uh, address A and address B spend, uh, spend some UTXO together, the assumption is that they're owned by the same person. But if a, address A is still the, owned by A and address B is owned by B, that that uh, assumption goes away, um, and you're you're sort of breaking that assumption, and that's that's what Join Market does, um, and something like Zero Link uh, sort of takes that to the nth level, where they take like 20 inputs uh, from 20 different people, and that way there's no way to link link any of them together, and that's that's an effective way to defeat it. Um, that said, you know there there are probably uh, even even better ways to do it, and there's there's a lot of research around that. I mean the the easiest thing you can do is probably go and get some Monero and then uh, trans transfer once in Monero and then transfer it back to your address and then it's like no link whatsoever. Um, but you know, I, there, there, there are lots of ways and this, this is sort of an area of research that a lot of people are interested in because they want some privacy and uh, privacy is al almost always a good thing in terms of uh, security because a privacy hole is a security hole. If the bad guy knows who you are, well, guess what? They're uh, like they're gonna come after you if you have a lot of Bitcoin. So um, these are all things that you have to think very closely about. It, it does help if you know some of the technical details, um, and I would encourage you to go and learn them if you don't, because uh, from a privacy perspective, you're not really going to be able to protect yourself unless you know all of the details. Anyway, I hope that helps you. This song is done.